Okay, so the first thing is, you'll notice on the downswing that you're stuck right here, right? Your elbow's stuck right here. And then you're having to flip the club. You're coming like this and you're hitting the ball and you're flipping like that, okay? So, there's already a problem because your, your elbow's stuck here and you're having to flip. to do with your backswing. You see all my hands behind my shoulder? We want the hands up here more. Okay. So the top of your backswing, you want your hands, you, know, you don't want them way over here, but you don't want them back here either. Okay. You want your hands, by the time my arms parallel to the ground, you want your hands, you know, in front of the shoulder, a little bit in front, not back here. That's really important so that when you rotate, look at, look at the distance from my elbow to my body, right? But if I'm back here, there's, there's, there's no distance, right? All of a sudden, the gap is gone. So you gotta get, you got to get your hands more forward, top your backswing, and it'll create distance in your elbow. Now when you turn, because you have really good hip turn, now when you turn, look where the elbow is. It's out in front. It's not stuck back over here, right? It's out in front. And now you can rotate, and you're not slapping at the ball. Okay, let's talk about let's talk about that. Where did, where in the backswing here should the hands be at a, at a given point? So in front of us we got Bryson DeChambeau on the left and we got let's just call him Ted on the right. You'll notice I drew a red line from the tip of their shoulders down to the ground. Now Bryce on the left in that little blue box, that's where his hand you know, that's his hands are in that blue box. Now it's important to know that, that this is in the backswing. And their arm, both both these guys have their lead arm parallel to the ground. So they're the same point in the backswing as far as the lead arm is concerned. You'll notice Bryce on the left, his hands are out in front of him, right? They're to the right of that red line. His hands are in front of that, that, that uh, right shoulder. Where Ted, his hands are way behind him. They're way to the left of that red line. At, at this point in the swing, Ted's probably over rotated his upper body just a little a little too much this soon in the in the backswing. It's okay to, to rotate this much. It's great to get that kind of rotation. But at this point in the swing, you don't want your hands that far behind you. The reason that you don't want your hands that far behind you is because it's really difficult to reroute the hands in the downswing once you get them too far behind you. It's gonna be very difficult to get your hands back rerouted and not get stuck you know as we saw earlier in the video you know ted was getting stuck at impact and and uh there are uh there's more than one reason why that, that could be happening but in this case with you, you, one of the big reasons that in the backswing if your hands get too far behind you definitely have a hard time rerouting them okay so you know ted is smart he runs video of his swing he's trying to improve that's what you should be doing he's doing he's doing a great job Okay, but be like be like Bryson on the left, 2020 U.S. Open champion. Yeah, keep your hands out in front of you. Okay, let's talk about the wrists. If you notice Bryson DeChambeau's wrists at impact. Let's talk about that. Remember, we're talking about how to cure from flipping, right? We have the problem with this particular golfer's flipping, right? So here we are at impact, and right now what you see is this. flat wrist back here, right? Like this, flat wrist. Bryson DeChambeau, what you're going to notice is his wrist has like this an impact. This wrist is cupped back here. So at impact, we want our wrist orientation to be like this. Right, I'm hitting along this target line right here, guys. I'm just like standing like this because of the light in the room, okay? So we're hitting along this way. So if I'm hitting this way, we want our wrist to be like that at impact. This. We want to be like that. Like that. So that means at impact, our wrists aren't flat like that. They're certainly not like that. They have to be like this. Okay? That's how you want your wrists at impact. This one has a bend going backwards. And this has a bend like that, or what we call a bowed, like this. So together, as we come down into impact, we're actually going to rotate the wrist down. As we come into impact, remember, we're keeping our elbow away from the body, 
and we're going to rotate the wrist down. We, we don't just turn them over like that. We're not doing this move. We're not flipping like that. Okay. As we come down, we're going to rotate those wrists down. See that move right there? We're going to rotate it down. Rotate it down and turn. Now look. There's the bend. You don't see me back here like this, right? So as you come into the downswing, you keep your elbow away from your body. You're rotating, you're rotating, and you start rolling those wrists down. Down and turn. Now look. The wrist has a bend to it. Okay. Okay, next we're going to talk about impact face on. Now on the left we have Bryson DeChambeau, a little bit older picture of him, and on the right we have our friend Ted. Now look at Bryson on, the, on the, the left, particularly the red line. I'll draw it from the tip of his shoulder down to the ground, straight line. You'll notice that the tip of his shoulder is right over the outside of his foot. That line goes from the tip of his shoulder right through his kneecap down to the outside of his foot. Our friend Ted on the right, it's clear he's hanging back too far, right Ted? It's clear at impact you're, you're hanging too much back on your, on your, your right side need to get your weight more forward and get that lead shoulder over the top of your foot. What that's going to do is, is put your entire arm in front of the golf ball instead of behind it. So now when you go to, to, to swing at the bottom of your arc, since your weight's going to be forward, you have a much better chance that your hands will be in front of the ball instead of behind the ball. Right now your hands are behind the ball. Okay, so get your weight forward like Bryson DeChambeau and you, you'll also probably get those wrists like you see Bryson's wrists with a little bit of angle in them, right? Because Ted on the right, his his trail wrist is, not only is it flat, but it's a little bit flippy, right? He's like almost flipping under. So to combat that, which by the way, uh, Ted, our friend Ted on the right has excellent hip rotation. The hips are amazing. Very, very good hip rotation. Now we just need to get him get his weight more forward, the upper part of his body more forward towards the target so he can get that, the, the handle of the club out in front of the golf ball, you know, and set it behind it. Okay? As you come into the downswing, because you have really good hip rotation, and, you, and we, now we got your elbow out in front, okay? As the club comes down, you're not going to flip at it like this. So right now you get down here and you're flipping at it like that, right? You flip at it and you come up like this. To avoid the flipping, because you got good, really hip, good hip rotation, your elbow's now going to be in a good place. As you hit the ball like this, what you're going to do is, you see this triangle right here? My arms, my two arms and my shoulders make a triangle, right? What you're going to do is you're going to keep your hands in front of the club head and rotate. chest. Okay. You don't flip at it like this and, and collapse it. Right? Instead we hit the ball and we try to rotate the chest as much as we can. You keep these arms straight as you can for as long as you can after impact. Boom. Rotate. Keep this triangle right here. As long as you can and the club comes up okay we don't want to be hitting like this flipping like that and then coming across the body right and then this arm collapses you know all right so it's hit good hip rotation hit keep the chest rotating as fast as quickly as you can through the impact area okay guys i really hope you enjoyed this video i'm going to leave you with a little bryson dechambeau special as you watch him just absolutely monster mash this ball in training. Enjoy it. Listen, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click that subscribe button. Go ahead and click the notification bell so you get notified of the great videos as they come out. Really would appreciate the thumbs up as well. We'll talk to you all again real soon next time.